Hey guys, we're here with Akshay, the head of innovation at Visa for the Samia region. How are you today, Akshay? Very good. This this has been an awesome event so far, enjoying it. And the Dubai Fintech Summit, how, why are you guys here today? Why did Visa choose to have a presence at this event? So we believe in the potential of Dubai and this region to be a forerunner for fintech for the future of this world. And uh, for us, being a part of this event, being an important sponsor uh, is a great way to give our commitment, give our resources and give our time to the burgeoning fintech ecosystem in this region. And it is such a growing and burgeoning ecosystem, like you said, it, every day there's so many events and so many new projects coming here. So what's been your outview on maybe how things have evolved here in the region? Yeah, look, I, I came to this region not that long ago, about 2018, 19. And even since that time, the level of maturity, the level of actual impact and outcome that I'm seeing come out of the innovators in this region is unprecedented. And so, you know, the events and all, all these things are great, but we're seeing actual outcome, actual innovation happening here. That's making a change in people's different uh, aspects of their lives. Um, it's changing how people pay, how people manage their finances. Um, and just that's so heartening to see. And so what is Visa's role in the this ecosystem and, and what do you guys envision for it? The first and foremost role that we play in this fintech ecosystem is that of an enabler. Um, and we do that in many ways. And I think the simplest uh, way in which we enable is if you're a fintech and if you want to uh, get scale, if you want to be able to serve a large number of customers, expand widely, we will help you because we have a global network of financial institutions, merchants, people at the point of sale that you can plug into immediately. So if you built a new wallet or a super app, for example, why not plug in with Visa that will immediately allow your Visa credential that you issue to be accepted at more than 70 million point of sales globally. So that's one way, but we also have uh, many ways in which we directly support the fintechs and startups. For example, something called the Visa Everywhere Initiative, which uh, we run globally where we have startups pitch for how they can creatively solve uh, business problems that we put out there. And the best of those startups actually get global uh, support as well. This is for like smaller businesses, correct? For fintech startups, that's right. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so interesting. And um, tell me a little bit more than what a day in the life looks like for head of innovation at Visa. <laughs> well, I got to say it's it's one of the best jobs I've ever had. Um, you know, when, when a lot of people think about the head of innovation, they think of someone who might be in a lab coat just coming up with new products. But no, actually, it's not like that at all. We are a network business and very early in our evolution as a company, we realized that to be successful as an innovator, we cannot do it alone. We need to work with our ecosystem. So bulk of the work that my team does is to co-create new solutions with our uh, banking partners, our fintechs, our merchants, our regulators. So co-creation is what we do. So on a typical day, I have many um, different stakeholders of our ecosystem coming in. Some of them are coming in to just explore what are the trends out there, whereas others have progressed to a stage that they actually want to build something with us and seize an opportunity. So yeah, very ecosystem based, and that's what uh, makes it all that much better. That's definitely one of the ethos of the crypto industry, I think, right? This co-creation and community aspect and mm, participatory roles, right? Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, by definition, you know, you can't have a blockchain of one. So it is the whole a crypto industry, the whole Web3 community is exactly that. It's a community. Um, and they re-envision re what a community should look like with less centralization, with less uh, central control, more distributed, more rules-based. So yeah, it's 100% that ethos. And is there any um, maybe recent announcements or something that Visa, a project that you've worked on that has particularly yet you're proud of? Yeah, look, we are doing a lot when it comes to crypto, and I'll give you a few examples. So with some of the uh, people who've been investing in crypto for a while, one of the biggest challenges you face is you can't take your crypto holdings and pay for a coffee. You can't go and buy bread at the end of the day uh, at a grocery store with your crypto. It's not that easily, not every, not, not everywhere. It's not, it's not widespread just as yet. Um, but, so one of the things we've done with the crypto exchanges is we've allowed them to issue Visa cards. So if you get a Visa card from an exchange, you can actually go and with your crypto holdings, pay at the point of sale at any of the 70 million merchants that Visa has. So, you know, we've been working on a lot of those kind of projects. How do we make crypto a lot more accessible uh, to be used at in the everyday economy? 
We're also working on a number of a number of projects on how do we enable easier access to crypto. Because for many people, being able to take their first transaction is not an easy step. So how do we make that really straightforward? And then on the institutional side, there's a lot we're doing. Uh, we've been experimenting and piloting things like uh, being able to settle with crypto, for example, at the end of the day with financial institutions um, and crypto native uh, issuers. So yeah, there's there's a lot going on and I think this is the time to build. Um, this is the time to, you know, learn, build muscle so that you're well poised for when the next summer arrives. You say that now because the market is not in, we're in a bear market. Now is the time to build? I think now is the time to, you know, not focus on the hype and focus on actual problem solving, building actual solutions that will help the people and the institutionals, uh, in institutions of the future in this uh, new world. Finally, and is there anything that you've heard maybe here today at the at the summit, some insight or something that particularly interested you? Yeah, look, there's been a lot of insights coming out, but I think more and more, um, to me, one of the biggest takeaways is this shift towards, um, on the crypto side, like the institutional solutions. How do we enable infrastructural layers? How do we enable like blockchain to serve, not just like as a coin trading mechanism, but being able to solve real problems, tokenize real assets, um, and set up the infrastructure right from the ground up using Web3 and the blockchain. And that's what Visa's hoping to do. <laughs> we, we would, any kind of innovation is something that we would love to, uh, you know, witness and be part of. So yeah, we're working with uh, a lot of the uh, uh, crypto organizations around the world, blockchain organizations around the world. We're always learning, we're all, always experimenting. All right, well, thank you so much for your time, Akshay. Thank you, Ornella, thanks for having me.